Now we're going to move on to the nasal sounds. The nasal sounds you can feel vibrating inside your nose when you make the nasal sounds. So we have three nasal sounds. Uh, we call these cousin sounds. Um, so they're not as close as brothers. We don't have the voiced and unvoiced, but they're all made in the same way, pushing that air through the nose. So when we put our lips together, we get the mmm sound. When we have our tongue behind the ridge of our teeth, we get the mmm sound. And then when the sound moves back further in our throat, we get the mmm like in the end of the word sing, mm, mm, mm. it's like a mm, sort of way back in there. It's a, a strange sound to make. You might need to practice that one for a little bit. Um, and you know what's great about kids is they're so forgiving. So, you know, if you mess up, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Go back and talk it through with them. Feel, um, feel the air coming through your nose. Uh, feel where the sound is in your mouth and work together. Uh, to figure that out, that mm sound. Um, one thing I want to really point out with the nasals is they they don't play well with uh, vowels. So when we have a word like an, when you see an a, you would expect a, but that nasal sound when you co-articulate the a and the n, mm, it sort of pulls ah into your nose and nasalizes it. So you have that am um, instead of an. Um, so that's why we need to be careful when we're asking kids to segment words. It's usually a good idea to keep those nasals out of there um, because the sound, uh, we use foundations in my district and they call those glued sounds. The way that it co-articulates the vowel up and through the nose sort of glues it into there and it alters the vowel sound slightly. So aware of, of those nasal sounds and how they can be tricky for students. 